King Shark and John Constantine. Now, this is a relationship that surprised literally everybody. Now, John Constantine has been in a relationship with both men and women in the comic, so King Shark being a guy isn't surprising. However, he is a literal shark who also eats people. So that was very surprising. Now, this isn't actually canon in the comics, unfortunately. But now, the dead DCMU, with their final installment being Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, including a scene where the good guys make a deal with the Suicide Squad, one of which is King Shark. And while there, John's talking with Raven about how it's weird because his ex is there. With Herbert's rooming is Harley Quinn. Only for John Constantine to correct her and that it's actually King Shark, who then proceeds to wink at him, implying that they ended things on good terms. It's a throwaway joke that sparked something in fandom. It also sparked something in toxic fandom, calling this movie woke, despite the fact that John has always been bi, and in this very movie, he's, he's in bed with Zatanna. A lot of people want to know, when was this canon in this universe? As we know, it had to be pre Justice League Dark from 2017, because Zatanna and John ended up together in that very movie. While the Suicide Squad and Hell to Pay had yet to recruit King Shark. So, who knows? But if we're going off King Shark's comic book origin, that involved Superboy. So it would have to happen after Reign of the Superman, which in can takes place after Justice League Dark. So that doesn't really make much sense. So I'm going to presume King Shark has a different origin in this universe. Probably one of his later ones, because almost all King Shark's continuity and everything has something to do with Superboy after his first appearance in the Superboy comics. Which, yes, if you didn't know... King Shark actually started off as a Superboy villain. And then he went over to Suicide Squad, and then he kind of just became a Suicide Squad character, and later on there was some sort of connection between him and Aqualad and Aquaman, but that didn't really go anywhere, and then New 52, he was once again a Aquaman-ish villain, but then he was on the Flash show, a lot of people thought he was a Flash villain when he was in the comics, but then he was a villain of the Flash in the comics later on. It's a lot of a lot. So how about I just end it here? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Anyways, like always, please like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye!